Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, August 31st, 2020 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am responsible for what holistic means to me. And I want to do the week ahead overview. And I just have to say, I just came off of doing a brief uh, month ahead overview for my patron group. Uh, if you want to go check that out, that's going to be going up today. But wow, we have a lot coming in in September, and we have a lot going on this week. Now, I want to say, we have Mars going retrograde on the 9th, but we're definitely going to be feeling that slow down sensation. I always liken, uh, for me, the experience of feeling a planet kind of slow down, station, go retrograde, or even direct, um, can feel like an airplane when it's changing uh when it's changing its speed. So you may feel a little bit of that, especially if you are Mars dominant, if Mars energy is one that's very strong for you. So if you find yourself kind of like winding down this week, that's normal. Um, and it's a really good time to tune in, check your motivation, what is driving you and what is important for you to show up for over these next few months with this Mars retrograde coming in. So we kick off September with a full moon and this full moon is definitely calling in some magic. So keep that in mind for September 1st, late in the evening, 10.22 p.m. Pacific time, we will be having full moon magic coming in. And with that full moon can be that amplified energy and then the full moon over. So do be aware of that energy coming in. On the 4th, we have Venus square Mars, which if you listen to me a lot, you know, Venus retrogrades and Mars retrogrades can cause relationship challenges. Venus representing that yin force, Mars representing that young energy. And so, again, depending on what your balance is with that yin and yang energy, um, you may find challenges coming up with the more masculine or young dominant side of things. So again, awareness and checking in that motivation. But I feel like that Venus Mars square that's happening, Venus and uh, Cancer, sorry, I was gonna say Capricorn, but Venus and Cancer is reminding us to up the self care ante. Also speaking of Venus, Venus this week will be shifting out of Cancer and into the sign of Leo. So it is time to get our inner queen on. Uh, creativity will be peaking, um, forming, working on a relationship with our inner child. That will be great during the Leo energy. Uh, check your ego. <laughs> Venus and Leo also likes to do a lot of shopping. So be very aware of money spending during Venus in Leo. We also have Mercury shifting this week into the sign of Libra. So Mercury and Libra, the mental energies can again kind of spike. But what we find with Libra is there's usually some kind of pendulum of swinging back and forth in order to find what that balance is. So we have that incoming as well. And like I said, Mars will be going retrograde next week on the 9th, but we will be feeling that incoming. So whew, that being said, <laughs> what do we have going on? Well, building into this full moon energy. We still have the moon hanging out in Aquarius. So again, spiking those mental vibrations, getting grounded, very important with uh, when we have strong mental energies, strong electrical energies, which we do when Aquarius is on the job. Um, moon in Aquarius is actually connecting to Mars. So that fiery nature of Mars can stimulate that Aquarius electricity. But again, going back to that question, checking your motivation, that's going to be very important. I keep saying this and it got even more edified in a conversation I was having with Joe a little bit ago. We are not called to save the world as an individual, but we are each called to do our individual part. And so keeping that in mind, 
what is your motivation and what is your calling for humanity and again even starting with yourself what is your calling with yourself because healing that inner work that's where it all does start so keeping that in mind especially with the second thing we're going to be looking into in just a second um, but you may find yourself stimulated by that combination of moon and aquarius mars and aries energy Check that motivation because a lot of the news, a lot of talk out there is very triggering and it is triggering people's wounds. And one of the best things you can do is bring healing to those wounds that are showing up, which is perfect for us looking at the second thing. So we have the sun in Virgo in conjunct Chiron. So Chiron, the wounded healer, Chiron in Aries retrograde which can be bringing up very deep wounds for us going back to our energy mantra for today i'm responsible for what holistic means to me so to me holistic is when we look from a whole perspective of what needs healing so body mind spirit soul heart um it may be spiritual it may be soul based it may be physical don't just get caught up in your mind about what you think needs healing. Really looking at yourself from that holistic level. How am I being called to show up for me? Where can I show up for me? What needs, does my spirit need healing? Does my soul need healing? Is this, is this past life? I thought I had the past life card, I don't. Is this projections that I'm taking on? How do I come back? into my inner power into my inner light your light heals the world it does your willingness to look at those shadows <laughs> heals the world brings you into your light brings you into that force and so again checking that motivation and coming back to yourself my uh, motto at one of my schools <laughs> i say one of because wow i went to a lot but was healer heal thyself and we really do need to come back into that. That Virgo energy, it can be so easy to look outside of ourselves and see what's going on out there, whether it's in the world or another person. But when we turn those fingers back around, okay, what's going on here? And I, I know it is so much easier to identify and see what somebody else needs to do. But if you drop into your soul, you will also be shown what it is that you need to work on. And that is where a big portion of our responsibility lies and especially in this in conjunct with the sun in Virgo and Chiron in Aries energy so being willing to tune in those lessons are within and I love this we have the awareness card which is the chariot moving forward successfully and the rebirth card so this is very 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 powerful what is the vision? What is the vision for your healed, holy, whole self? What is that motivation? Let that help propel you forward. But meanwhile, do keep looking within. What is your calling to holistic healing at this time? Body, mind, spirit, soul, heart. All right, so that is it for the week ahead. That is it for today. I will be back tomorrow with this full moon scope. Um, but you can book a reading with me, especially if you're like, oh my gosh, how's this Mars retrograde going to affect me or any of these other things that are incoming, email me, mimiclark at gmail.com for that. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.